To make the flower part of our ear warmer here, this is basically just two flowers and they're stacked together and they're finished off with a button. And when I selected my flower, you can really use anything and it's encouraged that you use yarn scraps because that's always a good thing to use up your yarn scraps. This was um, Lion Brand's Hometown USA. This is kind of a navy blue. And then this is um, Red Heart's uh, Super Saver in, um, I think it's the Orchid colorway, or either Orchid or Lavender, I can't remember which now. But it's some um, worsted weight acrylic. And then I used a button just to kind of tack it all together and finish it off. And um, this was an N hook, and I think this was a J or a K, maybe even an I, I'm not sure. Um, but what I would do is if you're using scraps, just look at the yarn label for the recommended hook size, and you can just use really anything here. And I'll get this out of the way. You'll, I'm going to just use a J hook, a six millimeter J hook, to show you how to do the flower. And you'll also need scissors and a tapestry needle when you go back and sew it on. If you can see up close here, I just used some of this uh, leftover purple just to seam it all together so it would match. So we'll move this out of the way. To make your flower, I'm just going to make one flower to show you. This flower here, the larger flower and the smaller flower, this is the same exact pattern. I just use a different hook size and different yarn so you can see the size difference, but it's the same exact pattern. So we're going to crochet one and then you can kind of, when you make yours, feel free to just use any yarn you have on hand. So we're going to put a slip knot on our hook like that and this flower is worked in the round and you're going to make two I mean alternatively you could just make one which just kind of look like that um, so it's totally up to you so to make our flower we're going to chain six to make a chain wrap yarn around hook and pull it through the loop that's one two three four five and six Next, we're going to join to make a ring. So we're going to work a slip stitch in the last chain here, the first chain we made. But it's the, the last one on this line here, or this row. We're going to work a slip stitch just to join it. So what you'll have here is a circle. Next, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to work 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. This chain three that we just did counts as your first double crochet. So we're going to make 11 more. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the center of this ring here, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So we're going to make our double crochets all the way around. So here we worked our 11 double crochets into the center of the ring. And including the chain 3 we did at the beginning, you should have 12 spokes on your wheel here. Next, we're going to join our circle with a slip stitch to close it up. And then you can give this um, tail here. If you flip it over, um, as I worked, I also crocheted this tail in. I wrapped it around the tail as well, and that weaves it in. That way you don't have to do it later, it saves a ton of time. So I just give this a pull. You can trim that back later. And then for our next round of our roughly flower, we're going to chain one, and then in each space, this is the space, not the stitch, we're going to work six single crochets in each space. And what that's going to do is because you're working so many single crochets in each space, that's going to kind of all smush together and it's going to create this ruffle. So we did a chain one and then in the first space 
we'll work six single crochets. To work a single crochet, insert the hook into the space. This is the space versus the stitch, which is up top. Insert your hook into the space, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both two loops. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's also going to push the space open and give you nice little holes in your flower. These are covered up by the button, but if you lift up the button, you can see all these nice little holes. You can leave those showing if you don't want to add the button. It's up to you. So we're just going to do the same thing in the next space. Six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you're going to do this in each space all the way around. And it's going to make, you can also already see it's starting to bend a little bit. So you're just going to do this all the way around. So here is our flower. We've worked six single crochets in each space all the way around. And just to finish, we're going to join with a slip stitch to finish it off. And then you can take your scissors and just fasten it off there. And you can flip it and also pull this tail tight to, to close up that hole. Just like that. So our flower is nice and roughly and edges are kind of jumbly. It looks like our flower here. To finish off, you'll just want to weave in the ends with your tapestry needle. And then you can sew your flower right onto your ear warmer. And I used, again, I used the same yarn to stitch it on there. And you can layer it. You could also make one of the same size. Um, I chose a thicker, heavier, bulkier yarn and it made kind of a layered effect. So that is our Tweety Puff Stitch Ear Warmer. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlux video updates. Thanks again!